Okay, everybody should take out your story, the monkey's paw. And um, in your groups, you guys, and at home, you were supposed to annotate the, um, the types of foreshadowing or wherever foreshadowing happened. And we're going to go through right now, and you guys, and we'll talk about what you um, indicated was foreshadowing, what you annotated for foreshadowing. And if you don't have it, um, then if you, if you, when we're going through the story, if you didn't, um, like, underline a piece that is foreshadowing, go ahead and do it now, okay? So um, you should have foreshadowing and you should have whatever pen color you used to annotate for foreshadowing out. And let's just go through and you guys can tell me what parts you marked as foreshadowing and then um, on here. Okay, so on page one, let's just go, we're actually going to only do like, well, we're going to have a little bit on each page. What, did you see any foreshadowing occur on page one? I should get a bigger story here. Did you see any foreshadowing occur on page one? Anybody? like that kind of weather. Sometimes we get the feeling when it's like stormy weather, we get kind of an ominous feeling that something bad might happen. Not always. Was there more in that paragraph or on that page or anything more having to do with weather? Sure there is. Park at the wind. Park at the wind. Windy, cold, rainy. What other words indicate? I can hardly read my words, so. There's some more words in that same line as park at the wind, in that same sentence that might create a bad feeling, or not even, I shouldn't say, I'm not saying feeling, that might foreshadow what we already know is kind of a negative event. Tommy? Uh, the blinds were drawn and the fire burned brightly. Um, well, okay, so to me, a fire burning brightly is kind of a cozy feel, uh, feeling, right? Um, but I guess the blind's drawn. What words, what, what words indicate negativity, something that bad could happen? Cold. Ariam. Yes, now that doesn't necessarily have to do with the weather. But it's talking about his chess, the chess moves that they're making on the game. But it uses the word fatal. It uses the word, it uses the phrase after it was too late. 
like they realized after it was too late. That is foreshadowing of what's going to happen, right? And you may not realize it when you read it. Remember we said sometimes that happens. But when you look back, you realize, oh gosh, there was something fatal that happened. And, and it was too late once they realized, once they had already made the wish. So if you underline having seen a fatal mistake after it was too late. And then what kind of foreshadowing is it's that? It's in the second paragraph. And it's in the first line on the second paragraph. And you don't have to indicate what type it is right now. But what type would it be? Is it? Is it concrete? No, it's not an object that you can touch, is it? It would be abstract, okay? So would the weather. Weather would be abstract as well. Uh, there are some other words here in the third line. It says, putting his king into such sharp and unnecessary perils. Is perils, are perils a good thing? No. What, what are perils? Danger. 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 So they're, you're putting, we know that they put themselves in danger by making some wishes on the paw. Um, we don't know that as we're reading it, right? But when 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 a word when a, um, those words are used, it could be a sign of foreshadowing. Okay, that is all on the first page that you need to know. And what about the second page? Yeah. Um, I said it was like the it's the last. Not the last paragraph and the last paragraph above it, but like the one that says the first man okay. had three wishes. I said the third was for death because somebody like did die. Yeah, yeah definitely. So the um, the word that um that the sergeant major saying, he says, I don't know what the first two were, but the third was for death. That's how I got the pause. Okay, those words, yes, those words of the character. Um, give us an idea that this paw might be dangerous, right? That something bad might happen from this paw. Okay? Sam? Um, it had a spell put on it by an old blocker. Mm -hmm. Very holy name. He wanted to show that fate rules people's lives and that those who interfere with it is sub so to their sorrow. Put a spell on it so that three separate men could each have three wishes. Absolutely, that's foreshadowing. Right? It's like in the middle of the page. It had a spell put on it by an old fakir, said the sergeant major, a very holy man. He wanted to show that fate ruled people's lives and that those who interfered with it had so had did so to their sorrow. He put a spell on it so that three separate men each could each have three wishes from it. Okay? That's a prophecy, right? We saw all yeah. of that? Yep. Yeah, Ariam. Um, it's like at the top of the page. Better Yeah, so what, where is that, Ariam? The very, oh, yep. So 
like the second paragraph, like the second line. Better where you are, said the sergeant major, shaking his head. He put down the empty glass and sign. What does that word say? Sign. Sign softly. Sign softly. Shook it again. Do you highlight that part? Yep. Basically, he's telling him not to do this, right? Wait, so it's while it's a conviction? they ask him if he's made some ish wishes. He says, I have. And then it sa says um, his blotchy face whitened. Right? That's a foreshadowing of, again, that this paw is something dangerous may happen because his face whitened. It is after the prophecy after it's about three paragraphs down from where you underline the big part where the Fakur gave the put the spell on where he explains that. Okay, page three. Wait, is that a prophecy? No, that one. The one that we just did would be abstract. Um, sure. Okay, now page three. JT. But I warned you of the consequences. Hey, where is that? says, but I warn you of the consequences. Now there's a lot on this page the sergeant is saying that are giving us hints that something bad is going to come if they wish on this paw. What else does he say? Besides, I warn you of the consequences. I'm going to tell you it's all above it. Sam? You can have another three wishes. Okay, the fact that he says he doesn't know if he would take three more wishes. Where is that? Um, second paragraph. Second paragraph? Okay, yep. Where else? I think he's after more wishes. Tommy? Um, he said it's better to let it burn. Yeah, better to let it burn. When, it, when he threw it in the fire and he tried to get it out, he was like, better to let it burn. Definitely. What else? There's a lot here. What else does the sergeant say as warnings? Tommy? Um, I threw it. I threw it on the fire. If you keep it, don't blame me for what happened. Put it into the fire again like a sensible man. Yep, very good. Yep. If you so this is two lines down after better let it burn. Better to let it burn. It says, if you keep it, don't blame me for what happens. Put it on the fire again like a sensible man. Absolute foreshadowing of something bad to come. That man is a teacher. Better let it burn. It says, better let it burn, and then 
two paragraphs down. If you keep it, don't blame me for what happens. Put it on the fire again like a sensible man. And actually, way up in the first line, or first paragraph, second line, there's some foreshadowing. Wait, what kind of foreshadowing is that? These are all his words. They're all his words. Would you have them? Yep. Would you have them? We already said that one. The very first paragraph, second line, really. JT? I did have some ideas of selling it, but I don't think that I will. It has caused enough mischief already. Yeah, it has caused enough mis mischief already. Definite foreshadowing. Okay, let's move on to page four. And that's all I <laughs> Yep. in his hand. 
So the fact that something happened with the monkey's paw when he made the wish is also foreshadowing that it actually is working. Okay, page five. minutes.